program is brought to you by The story of volunteerism and the United Nations volunteers in Sri Lanka. In Sri Lanka, volunteerism has always had a rich history as it is embedded in the culture and forms part of the social fabric as evidenced in the Mahavansa or the Great Chronicle, which is a historical record that describes Sri Lanka's ancient history. Today, with an average of 7 million people volunteering their time, Sri Lanka was ranked number 1 in the world in 2019 for the highest rate of volunteering and is among the top 10 countries in the world over the 10 year aggregate according to the World Giving Index. In 2018, the government of Sri Lanka highlighted the impact of volunteerism in the voluntary national reviews or VNR of the SDGs. Yet volunteering remains a largely untapped resource with a huge potential to achieve a people-centric and socially inclusive sustainable development. Volunteers in Sri Lanka are supported and engaged by a diversity of organizations. Among these organizations, the United Nations Volunteers or UNV is in the forefront and enjoys a unique global mandate to promote the value and global recognition of volunteerism. Since 1974, UNV Sri Lanka has continued to support the United Nations system by mobilizing a diversity of UN volunteers. UNV Sri Lanka launched two flagship initiatives, V Awards and V Force. V Awards is a national level initiative to recognize and honor volunteers who make extraordinary and selfless contributions to society. V Force is a platform providing individuals with volunteer opportunities within the United Nations. In 2018, the GA formally adopted the resolution on volunteering for the 2030 agenda for SDGs, where volunteer groups are explicitly recognized as stakeholders. The plan of action to integrate volunteering into the 2030 agenda recognized the role of volunteering as a key driver towards SDG acceleration efforts. Volunteering gives people the opportunity to directly contribute to sustainable development, enabling them to take charge of their own futures, strengthening social cohesion, solidarity and trust by promoting individual and collective action. Volunteering is well positioned to contribute to campaigns such as the Decade of Action. which aims to speed up and scale up efforts to achieve the SDGs through individual and collective action both locally and globally owned and implemented by everyone and leaving no one behind looking ahead UNV Sri Lanka aspires to celebrate the spirit of all forms of volunteering and recognize contributions and efforts by volunteers through a reimagined volunteering to the 2030 agenda throughout the decade of action UNV Sri Lanka stands ready to work with governments and partners to position voluntary actions of all people everywhere at the heart of efforts to achieve a shared future for people and planet. Are you getting tired of age-old advertising methods? Do you want to increase your customers' engagement and enhance their experiences? Augmented reality is the integration of digital information with the user's environment in real time. Unlike virtual reality, which creates an entirely artificial environment, augmented reality uses the existing environment to overlay new information. With Glider, the line between the virtual and the real simply does not exist. Can you imagine interactive print media with videos, slideshows, 3D objects and CAD drawings on magazines and catalogs? Imagine packaging of everyday products from milk cartons to electronics speaking to you and giving you instructions through videos and engaging games. Customer engagement and experience levels going through the roof with customized AR games rivaling the likes of Pokemon Go. as well as downloadable AR content, geofence drawings and signage in the sky. The possibilities are endless. With Glider, augmented reality solutions, those experiences are not only possible, they are here. Take 
want me to be chill. They want me to be wild. They want me to be healthy. They want me all the time. They want that crunch. The crunch that makes you crunch. This is one way of showing convenience, and my SLT is just another name for convenience. Services here, there, and everywhere. Now brought onto my SLT. Access all of SLT Mobitel services through one app. SLT Mobitel, the connection. A milk coffee for me? Money has to be sent to Anna in the morning, and mm. the electricity bill has to be paid. What is today's schedule? Dia at Uyana, 2 p.m. Film shooting at 3 p.m. How's today's weather? Sunny day, no rain, temperature 27 degrees. Switch off TV, lights off. The account that fits my busy lifestyle, BOC 18 Plus Smart Gen, the smart choice for today's youth. This is one way of showing convenience, and my SLT is just another name for convenience. Services here, there, and everywhere. Now brought onto my SLT. Access all of SLT Mobitel services through one app. SLT Mobitel, the connection. <laughs> Come, 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 Yes, but we can also get everything back. How is that, Tati? We have someone to look after our valuable things. Someone bigger than Tati? Yes, Buddha. Someone who has a lot of money. People's Insurance. Caring with love. This is one way of showing convenience, and my SLT is just another name for convenience. Services here, there, and everywhere. Now brought onto my SLT. Access all of SLT Mobitel services through one app. SLT Mobitel, the connection. Kadisaravi, Ikanagana, Mudama Mota, then come, Melly, come, eh, Hariani, Hamatana, come, we should be the Hoka to the Bayavini. Did all it all. Lama, you look when you could have wished a beach in his son, little get even the Pulu. It all will tell it, the Rogatic and Miss Bija sit on Luna made the Shimonamak Muminasa Karanapulu. Amaki wishes it, the dollar Akshava. One special cup from one special part of the world called Sri Lanka keeps us warm and well. One world, one tea. Salon tea, the world's favorite tea. This is one way of showing convenience, and my SLT is just another name for convenience. Services here, there, and everywhere. Now brought onto my SLT. Access all of SLT Mobitel services through one app. SLT Mobitel, the connection. A milk coffee for me? Money has to be sent to Anna in the morning and mm. the electricity bill has to be paid. What is today's schedule? Dia for Uyana, 2 p.m. film shooting at 3 p.m. How's today's weather? Sunny day, no rain, temperature 27 degrees. Switch off TV, lights off. You know the account that fits my busy lifestyle? BOC 18 Plus Smart Gen, the smart choice for today's youth.
either in the office where the Karana Basi Dakatam anytime data package, then dialogue home broadband within Zoom, Microsoft, YouTube, Google Saha, web browsing Sadahama Suvisheshi, JB, this Paha Krupial Harsi and Upa Hesita. Activate Kirim at hbb.dialogue.tilk with the Pivisin. This is one way of showing convenience, and my SLT is just another name for convenience. Services here, there, and everywhere. Now brought under my SLT. Access all of SLT Mobitel services through one app. SLT Mobitel, the connection. A milk coffee for me? Mimi has to be sent to Anna in the morning and mm. the electricity bill has to be paid. What is today's schedule? Dear Fauyana, 2 p.m. film shooting at 3 p.m. How's today's weather? Sunny day, no rain, temperature 27 degrees. Switch off TV, lights off. The account that fits my busy lifestyle, BOC 18 Plus Smart Gen, the smart choice for today's youth. <laughs> Lama look when you could wish a beach in his side, little get even the pull. It all will tell it, the the and visa be the seat, and Luna made the Shimonamak Muminasa Karanapulu. A monkey wish was it, the dollar Akshava. They want me to be cheap, they want me to be white, they want me to be healthy, they want me all the time. They want the crunch, the crunch that makes you crack. Call me by. This is one way of showing convenience, and my SLT is just another name for convenience. Services here, there, and everywhere. Now brought under my SLT. Access all of SLT Mobitel services through one app. SLT Mobitel, the connection. Good evening friends. Cooking is an important part in scouting and in one's life. The global cultural jamboree provides you with the opportunity of seeing and learning new dishes from executive chefs of two of the most leading hotels in Sri Lanka and one from our very own scouts in Batiklo. Grand Hotel Noor Elia, Hilton Colombo and the scouts of Batiklo will be taking you through this session during the next one hour. Friends, over to Hilton, Colombo. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Hilton, Colombo for the cooking session. Uh, my name is Jerem. I'm the chef de cuisine at Hilton, Colombo. So today, the dish will be a black pepper curry sea prawn accompanied with a garlic and scallion rice. So first off, we will go through the ingredients, what we'll be cooking today. So we'll be using sea prawns. Ginger, garlic, onion, green chili, red bell pepper, black pepper, butter, curry leaves, sugar, oyster sauce, Vegetable oil, fish sauce, and lastly, soya sauce. So this dish is a combination of Sri Lankan as well as Asian flavors. So to go along with the dish, we'll be doing a garlic and scallion rice. And for that dish, we'll be needing cooked basmati rice, garlic, chopped scallion the bulb, butter, salt for seasoning, turmeric powder, crispy fried garlic, and the green part of the scallion. So as the first part, we will prepare the black pepper cow leaf sauce. So into a blender, we will add in the ginger, garlic, 
Ano yun? Green chili? Red bell pepper? And in goes the vegetable oil. So today we'll be using sunflower oil, but if you prefer, you could use corn oil or soya bean oil. The main thing is the flavor to be a neutral oil. And this one, we need to blend it to a fine puree. So this will be the consistency of the blended mixture. So because of the flavoring that is in the sauce, we will not be seasoning the prawns at all, but we will be keeping on the head, the shell, to retain its moisture where right? it won't overcook. So these prawns are being coated in corn flour. Whilst the cooking goes on in Hilton, Colombo, we will be now moving on to Grand Hotel Nora Elliot. Hello, good evening from Sri Lanka. Greetings. And uh, today we are going to enlighten you of presenting a traditional Sri Lankan dish presented in a very international manner for all of you. And let me introduce my colleague, Chef Priyanta. Chef Priyanta Virasinghe, who will be uh, teaching you all how to do this wonderful dish from Sri Lanka. Thank you, I go on. My name is Priyanta Virasinghe, corporate chef, Grand Hotel Morel. So it is going to be a very simple dish and uh, Chef Priyanta is going to use local ingredients uh, presented in a very easy manner for all of us. I think uh, even uh, a new newcomer to cooking can easily prepare this dish. Uh, Chef Priyanta, how are you going to start? So he's going to use some uh, fresh garlic first uh, and heat it in a pan along with some freshly chopped onions.
So you can see uh, the onions and the chopped garlic being fried in this pan for a few minutes. And meanwhile, he's heating another pan. What are we going to make on this chef? This is for the sauce. He's going to create a curry sauce. And uh, the dish that he's going to create today is a simple dish. Uh, it is a steamed mullet fish uh, stuffed with batiklo crabs and uh, also Murunga leaves mallow. So uh, batiklo crabs, I think uh, crab meat that he's using has been harvested from the oceans of Sri Lanka. So the crab meat is being uh, added to the chopped onions and garlic. Now he's adding a little bit of turmeric to bring some nice color. And um, a little bit of chili powder to bring in the spiciness. Also some freshly chopped lemongrass. Then he's adding in uh, a few leaves, few curry leaves, along with some uh, ground curry powder. So the aromas of uh, the spices are coming out really well while it's frying. And now Chef Biafé is going to add some uh, moringa leaves, fresh leaves. Moringa leaves are used for many traditional dishes in Sri Lanka and along with it is going to add some freshly grated coconut. So all these ingredients that we are telling you can be easily found in India around the world and now you can see all the ingredients frying in one pan. Contrasting flavors, a little bit of brown pepper. Again, uh, very uh, authentic spices from in Sri Lanka. Uh, Chef Priyanka is, uh, he has taken out a slice of uh, baramundi fish and uh, this baramundi fish has been harvested from, again from lagoons of Sri Lanka, uh, sustainably harvested baramundi fish. And this fish is going to be stuffed with this filling that he just prepared. And mm -hmm. the fish goes into a mold. Now we will be moving from Grand Hotel Nora Elia to Batikalo South. See they make their famous crab curry and fish. Hello. 
how to make an beautiful and a traditional craft. Uh, good evening. Good evening to you all. Welcome to Betty Glow. Uh, hello. Good evening to you all. Welcome to Betty Glow District Scouts Association. We are presenting a traditional food of pit two. First of all, we we have uh, here roasted wheat flour added with uh, salted water. And then the mixture is made by small pebbles. Then the small pebbles also mixed with the coconut, grated coconut. This is one of our traditional food used for breakfast and dinner. And also it symbolizes the unity between the communities living in Batiglo district, Sir? the Muslims and the Tamils. Okay. So now we'll We'll put okay. these pebbles on a bamboo stick with co grated coconut and steam it till it gets boiled. Okay, let's move to the main dish, that is the crab curry. This is the mud crab caught in this lagoon. Batiklo Lagoon is famous for two main items. One is mud crab and the other one is prawn. So, before... Okay, uh, so now we will be moving on to Hilton Colombo. I'm back. So we'll be preparing our black pepper colleague sauce, the second part. So this is the blended mixture that we did earlier. So we heat up a pan. Add in the butter. So while the butter is heating up in another pan, we have got some oil to fry up our prawns. So it's also getting heated up on the other side. So once the butter is melted, we add in our curry. So we just need to get the curry a little bit crisp for the butter to be flavored with the curry. So once the curry is crisp up, we are in our blended mixture. So we need to cook this mixture for about five minutes for the raw flavors to go away. Because this sauce is based on oil, this sauce could be done in advance and left in a refrigerator and could be used a couple of times within a week.
So our oil is also heated up into this oil. We will be adding in our prawns. So as I said earlier, the prawns are not being seasoned. It's just only coated with corn flour. And now we will do So we need to cook this mixture until the rawness goes away. You see our prawns have been fried well. And now we will be moving to batik flow. So, this is the mixture we made it. Okay, now we will put it inside the dish and we will add a little bit of salt, potato, and some tomato. And let this dish cook for another 15 minutes. At the end of the cooking, we'll add some coconut milk, heavy coconut milk, so that you will also get some gravy. And also we, we have some drumstick leaves, which will reduce the heat of the crab. Okay, and now we all move on to the fit too. Okay, this is fit too, made out of roasted wheat flour and salt. Okay, and also our crab curry is ready. Traditional dish of batik lo. With the help of them, we are putting our main chef is the microphone and Almonia Association. All boys, our open group. Open group, uh, our open group uh, uh, leader is the main chief, and uh, uh, five is Mrs. Stella, he is the assistant chief. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's enjoy the dishes of Badiglo. And so, invite all the tourists from other countries to visit Sri Lanka and visit Batigolo. Thank you. Now we will be moving on to Grand Hotel Nuara Elia. Right, Chef Priyanta is going to stuff uh, the fish uh, slices with the curry that he just made and uh, he's going to line it in between some bok choy leaves. As you can see, all the ingredients are added into a mold. And uh, on top of it, he's going to add bok choy leaves and roll it over. Mm -hmm. 
chef the fish hasn't been cooked right chef yes. it is uh, going to be steamed steam. right so uh, the ingredients are rolled in this mold and once it's done uh, he's going to uh, steam it in the steamer for around how for how long chef 25 for around 25 minutes so uh, the fish the stuffed fish will be steamed well in the steamer right and what are we going to prepare now chef going to make a sauce so uh, the accompaniment or the curry sauce for chef's uh, stuffed uh, fish along with the crab meat is going to be prepared now so he's going to heat some oil about 2 tablespoons of oil being heated well and as the oil is heating he will be adding some uh traditional sri lankan spices is it chef all authentic spices from sri lanka and first of all what are we going to add chef more garlic we are going to add freshly chopped garlic so the aromas of the garlic comes out really well in the frying oil and also a little bit of onion which is staple in sri lanka when all the curries are prepared we add lemongrass we add uh, onions and then we add uh, garlic and also some fresh uh, fresh lemon grass the lemon grass adds a distinct flavor to our dishes usually and while it's being cooked uh, he will add a little bit of uh, turmeric for color So this turmeric gives a, a golden color into the dish, and also some uh, grounded uh, spices, curry powder, and we will be adding some sticks of cinnamon. So all the aromas of the spices are coming out really well while it's being cooked, and now he's going to add. Uh, about 4 tablespoons of uh, fresh uh, coconut milk is it chef freshly squeezed coconut milk and some tomatoes so as you can see it's a thick paste and he will be adding a little bit of a squeeze of lemon for some citrusy flavor it comes out to be a very nice thick paste chef so uh, after that what are we going to do now chef saffron rice is going to prepare the saffron rice that will be served with the stuffed fish so once again we heat a little bit of oil and as the oil heats chef is going to add uh, a very special kind of rice so this rice is called the up country suandal rice uh, which in the uh, back in the days uh, was actually mostly eaten by the kings of sri lanka and uh, now chef is uh, frying a little bit of uh, garlic once again as the garlic is being fried we are adding a little bit of curry leaves curry leaves a must in sri lankan curries and as it's being slowly fried uh chef will work on the rest and he's adding a little bit of cinnamon once again saffron Right, and now chef is going to add the steamed suandal rice or the upcountry suandal rice. As you can see, the saffron that he just added gives a lovely golden color to the rice.
and a little bit of coconut cream once again to thicken the rice so they will have a nice thick texture of rice a little bit of salt as per your preference the rice gets thick right chef yeah. so uh, it it has a, a very thick consistency uh, because he will be presenting it also very well and uh, i think now he's going to do something really interesting uh, if you don't know what this is it is called the mortar and the pestle so a uh, chef is going to grind some spices really well to make the coconut sambal so he's going to create the traditional coconut sambal from sri lanka that right. he adds a little bit of uh, onion again some garlic like i said it's a staple in a uh, uh, diet the onions and garlic and also some chili flakes for a nice spice and color as well and curry leaves so as you can see we are using pretty much the same ingredients for all the curries but will give different flavors what are we adding now chef a little bit of molly fish and along with the molly fish you'll be adding ground pepper ground black pepper and now he's going to add the main ingredient which is a uh, freshly grated coconut so all of these ingredients are going to be well chopped by the pestle and the mortar This is an everyday curry of Sri Lankan uh, households and it is basically made by all of our mothers every day and uh, a little bit of uh, lime juice for a hint of citrus and some salt and we are going to give it a nice chop you can see the colors blending beautifully as well as the flavors i already get the aromas here the aromas from the onions and the garlic and all the spices and now it's going to go into our presentation now we will be moving back to hilton colombo welcome back so This is our finished sauce, our black pepper curry sauce. So once the blended mixture has been cooked well with the curry leaves and the butter, we added in the soy, the oyster, and the fish sauce and the sugar. And finally, we have added the black pepper. So our sauce is ready. And over here, we have got our fried prawns, just coated in corn flour and fried until crisp. So now we'll be preparing the side dish that goes along with this. It's a garlic and scallion rice. For that, we have cooked basmati garlic. and scallion a little bit of turmeric to give a little bit of color into the whole dish so we heat up a pan and add a small dollop of butter when the butter is heated up we add some garlic some freshly chopped garlic the onion bulb also chopped up once the garlic starts to turn golden we add a small pinch of turmeric in goes our cooked basmati the 
anything? As a chef, it's very important that you test everything that you cook before you serve it to your valued guest. So into this, we add some crispy fried garlic. the green part of the scallion. All right, this is done. So we just need to finish off the prawns with the cowling sauce. So into another box. We take some of our already pre-prepared sauce. Splash of water. So by adding the water, you get the sauce to coat well on your prawns. So sauce is heated up, in goes your prawns. So be very gentle and toss the prawns around until the sauce is nicely coated on the prawns. So our two dishes are ready, so we can start presenting our dishes. Now, we'll finally have some curry leaves in order to add more aroma to this uh, crab curry. Okay, then mix it well. Even though in Sri Lanka we have crabs, the best crab is from Batikro, I would say, because this lagoon produces uh, a big peculiar taste crab and prawns. So many people who visit Batiklo on their, uh, how do you call, tourism purpose, always buy this crab and, and prawns from Batiklo. So we invite all our foreigners, as well as our Sri Lankan, visit Batiklo, enjoy the cuisine, and enjoy these two main things, pitu and crab curry. Now we are going to serve the feed too with crab curry to our guests, our district secretary uh, and our district commissioner, our deputy commissioners, our secretary of the scout and all the people. We are going to serve this. Let's see how it's come. And this is the clamp of the this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's enjoy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now we will be moving back to Grand Hotel Nora Elia.
Então, What are you going to add next? Tarino? He's going to add how much sugar syrup are we adding? 25 milliliters of sugar syrup. And then next, we are going to stir it. And now he's going to add some fresh mint leaves. So to get the flavor out of the mint leaves, he's going to right, uh, as the fresh uh, cinnamon tea is being brewed, Tarindu has added uh, the lime wedges and then 25 milliliters of uh, sugar syrup. And now he's going to add some fresh mint leaves. So he's going to chop it very well so that the flavors come out and put it right around the glass so that the flavors stay untouched. And then he's going to add to fill up the glass uh, with some crushed ice. He's going to fully fill up this glass. Once the glass is filled up, uh, he's going to take the well-brewed Ceylon cinnamon tea and add it right away while it's still hot. 150 ml. He's going to add 150 ml of Ceylon cinnamon tea. So you can see the, the ice melting instantly with the hot tea and give a nice consistency, some beautiful shades of colors. As this being done, he's going to garnish the tea mocktail with a fresh sprig of uh, mint, as well as his uh, cinnamon. sugar coated cinnamon stick. So this is going to be a lovely combination, a beautiful mocktail, non-alcoholic, so it's suitable for anyone. And uh, the cinnamon flavors from this tea mocktail Pairs very well with Chef Priyanka's um, dish that he's going to finish right now. Thank you, Karim. So we are coming back once again uh, to Chef Priyanka's uh, stuffed uh, mullet fish with crab meat. So uh, the meat is well steamed now, steamed over 25 minutes. Right, so now he's going to unwrap it. He's going to carefully cut off uh, the meat. The 
week is well tender uh, after cooking for 25 minutes so he's going to take one block out of it well steamed fish and now he's going to coat it in uh, roasted uh, green peas so you can see the wonderful green color natural green color given from the roasted green peas we coat it thoroughly and then he's going to present it on his plate so uh, all the other dishes have been already created so easy by chef priyanka and now he's going to add uh, the steamed rice steamed sundal rice from our country The rice is being well pressed into a mold and flattened out. as the rice is being pressed into the mold you can see uh, the two colors two tones of rice white rice and the curry uh, the curry mixed rice chef priyanka is giving the finishing touches you can see the beautiful ingredients once again beautiful ingredients from sri lanka right uh, so many colors in our ingredients and you can see we have some uh, pickled onions and then we have lemongrass dried lemongrass we have fried curry leaves to finish it off for the finishing touches and uh, next up chef priyanka is going to add a coconut sambal that he just made so easily he's going to put it into a mold as well a little bit of coconut sambal so this combination goes really well all the mixes of spices with the meat and the spices and the rice so the coconut sambal is a favorite of all sri lankans and uh, it can be prepared so easily so very well and next uh, chef priyanka is going to add a little bit of garnish uh, he has some uh, fresh organic broccoli which has been harvested from our own gardens uh, being dipped in the curry sauce that we prepared and this is going to be added to the dish as you can see a beautiful combination of uh, beautiful colors and also balanced nutrients chitrian is giving the finishing touches so we didn't take even one hour to finish this dish so easy uh, so much of flavor so much of color and now finally we are going now to we'll be moving to the batik lo presentation okay on behalf of batik lo south africa and we must thank our international Cultural Jamboree Organizing Committee and our Chief Commissioner Major General Gurinder Kiri and our 
Deputy Chief Commissioner, Senior Lawyer, General Prince Fernando. We must thank you for this opportunity. Thank you. Now we will be moving to Hilton, Colombo for their presentation. Welcome back to Hilton, Colombo. So this is our final dish. So it's served alongside with our garlic rice, our crispy fried prawns with the black pepper cowlip sauce. Now we will be moving to Grand Hotel Nora Elia for their presentation. Okay. Uh, so we have come to the end of it and the presentation has been beautifully done by Chef Priyanta and uh, he's going to add uh, some beautiful flowers for the presentation. Uh, see all the colors, red, pink, green and orange. All these colors uh, coming from the flavors, the spices of Sri Lanka. going to add a little bit of fried onion and finally the curry sauce is going to be topped Topped onto the meat. This entire dish has been prepared with very simple ingredients that can be easily found in the market and everywhere, all around the world. All these spices are from Sri Lanka. And also a small wedge of lime for flavor. And then he's going to top it with a local balsamic sauce. And we are, Chef Priyanta has added uh, local oranges and local ingredients and spices such as garlic and onions all into the sauce. And then as you can see, we have come to the end of it. A beautiful dish. Uh, prepared to simultaneously go in line uh, with our tea mocktail. Uh, all Sri Lankan spices added into this, uh, beautifully flavored and beautifully presented with so many colors. So uh, I think this can be easily done uh, at our homes even, very basic ingredients used. So now we have now as we have come to the end of this session, we would like to thank Grand Hotel Nuara Elia, Hilton Colombo, and the Scouts of Paticolo for making us a delicious meal. And also we would like to thank everyone who came to watch this session. Thank you and good night.
प्रोग्राम वॉज ब्रॉट यू बाय A milk coffee for me. Money has to be sent to Anna in the morning, and mm. the electricity bill has to be paid. What is today's schedule? Dia Pak Uyana, 2 p.m. Film shooting at 3 p.m. How's today's weather? Sunny day, no rain. Temperature 27 degrees. Switch off TV. Lights off. You know the account that fits my busy lifestyle? BOC 18 Plus Smart Gen, the smart choice for today's you. This is one way of showing convenience and my SLT is just another name for convenience. Services here, there and everywhere. Now brought on to my SLT. Access all of SLT Mobitel services through one app. SLT Mobitel, the connection. Kadi sirvi ikena ganna hondama muhata de kammeli kamme hari yanni hama tanaka ma visha beeja mukata da baya wenne de ලමයි ලොකු වෙනකොට විෂ බීජ නිසා ලෙඩ රෝග ඇති වෙන්න පුළුවන්. ඩෙටෝල් වලට ලෙඩ රෝග ඇති කරන විෂ බීජ 99.9 දශමලවක්ම විනාශ කරන්න පුළුවන්. අම්මගේ විශ්වාසය ඩෙටෝල් ආරක්ෂාව. program was